My name's Shane George, I'm a Staff Specialist in Emergency Medicine and today we're going to have a look at specimen collection using Cerner PowerChart. The workflow for doctors to collect samples in PowerChart is select your patient either from your patient list or by entering the UR number in the search field. Select the specimen collection icon from the top of the screen. Number three, scan the patient ID label or click unable to scan. Four, click on the filter icon to ensure that all scheduled tests are being collected. Five, select print all labels. Six, select the test to be collected and select the printer you wish to print the labels to. And then press print. Now let's cover the procedure for labelling the specimen tubes. It's really important that this happens without leaving the patient's bedside. Now that you've collected the tubes, complete the labels with the collection time, date and sign each tube. Label all the tubes ensuring that the correct label is applied to the correct coloured tube. When affixing the label, it must be horizontal and straight with the barcode at the top. If you need to reprint the labels, you can reprint them from this screen using the steps that we have just outlined. Once you've collected the tubes and applied the labels, you can scan each tube with the barcode scanner, which will mark each container as collected in the system. If you don't have a barcode scanner, you can click on the drop down box to the right of the container and mark each tube as collected manually. Once you have marked the tube as collected, labels can no longer be reprinted from this screen. So why is labelling so important? Cerner Millennium allocates a unique tube identifier to each tube rather than a single lab number to the entire collection. It's important that the correct label is applied to the correct tube to ensure it's processed correctly once received in the laboratory. The analyzers in the laboratory expect a specific container ID for a specific test. The analyzers will not recognize an incorrectly labeled tube and will not be able to perform the test. As a final step, always ensure that the correct labels have been applied to the correct tubes and check the patient identification, including name, date of birth and UR number. Any inconsistencies in labels may result in a delay to testing or the inability to perform the tests once they're received in the laboratory.